The moon phase actually tells you also about the tides. At the moment, on our moon phase watches, when the moon is here, that means you can't see it. That is new moon. And when the moon is here, then you have full moon. Your spring tide and spring tide. But when you want to show the nip tide and spring tide on a dial in an elliptic thing, then you have to speed it up so that the moon is not from here to here. The moon has to be from here to here. Speed it up to double the speed. Then you can use the elliptic to show spring, spring, and this is nip tide. And the only way to do it, I made a made a drawing. I can show you what you can do, maybe. But basically you could use that same wheel and speed it up by 50 minutes, which means taking a couple teeth away and uh, make it a tide watch. So you can basically tell what tide it is. And that's because the moon shifts in the sky by 50 minutes a day. And so you would have to create a 24 hour wheel that moves 50 minutes faster. And that would allow for the repetitive tracking of tide. And you have the gear ratio for that, right? Can't you do the math for that? This this wheel, the, the moon wheel, has to be the lever which operates that wheel has to do it twice just to get get the speed. And uh, that is very complicated. But we can do it eventually. It is, it is possible, yeah. When you talk to the to the movement manufacturer and say this lever needs a little notch so that it switches twice do the, mo the motion twice then it would work that way we want daily high and low tide and so don't you use the 24 hour wheel and just make it 50 minutes faster to account for the moon shifting in the sky which is what it takes the turns 